Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mel and this is my very first video as a YouTube blogger. So welcome to my channel and thank you for watching and subscribing. I thought it would be a good idea to kind of introduce you guys to myself by showing you my makeup routine and kind of walking through, through my favorite products so you guys can kind of get a better feel for who I really am. So here we go. I'm a full-time makeup addict for sure. That is my passion. I consider it an art and it is definitely my hobby. And I first got started with makeup when I subscribed to Ipsy, which is a once a month beauty bag. It comes with a makeup bag and five products that you get to try that are customized to you based on a customizable quiz that you take. And it's only 10 bucks a month, so it is extremely affordable. And that was where it all started. So I got a couple of products that I just didn't even realize that I needed until I had them. And it all blossomed from there. And now I am creating my own YouTube channel. So step one in my makeup routine is to prime my face because I have oily skin, combination skin I should say, because I get oily right here in my T-zone. And I also have very large pores right in here and over here. So I always prime with my The Professional by Benefit. It is a balm primer that minimizes pores and it kind of looks like that. It's extremely blendable and it makes your skin look great. It really camouflages your pores, so I absolutely love it. I really, really need that, so definitely my go-to primer. My next step is my foundation, and I use the Too Faced Born This Way in shade Vanilla, and this is my favorite foundation that I have ever tried. It is on a more on the oily side but since I have combination skin it's okay because it just gives me a dewy look but if you have oily skin definitely use a mattifying primer with it but I definitely recommend this foundation it's extremely it has coconut water in it so it's extremely hydrating which I really, really like because I I don't even have to use a moisturizer so definitely recommend the next step in my daily makeup routine is my concealer I use the benefit air patrol which is a BB cream concealer and it comes out of this applicator which is advertised as it's softer than your pinky so you just kind of tap it on in the dots and then smear around and down and that's how I apply it and it's also an eyelid primer so you can use it on top of your lid before your eyeshadow so that's really nice that it is a um, combinable product so you don't need two different products you can use this as your concealer and your eyeshadow primer I also use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in shade Brightener. I use it and create a triangle right here under my eye because I like to brighten it up so you can really hide those dark under eye circles. My next step in my makeup routine, I always like to do my eyebrows and my eyes next because it gives my foundation and my concealer time to set before I set it with powder. When I do my eyebrows, I use my Pixie by Petra Eyebrow Trio, which I got in my Ipsy bag. And this is definitely the best powder for my eyebrows that I have ever tried. I'm not a fan of the pencils or the crayons or anything like that. I haven't found a single one I liked. But when I tried this powder, fell in love. It really, really is blendable and it looks natural. It comes with three different shades. So it's really nice because it's very universal. And then I always set with my clear eyebrow gel. This is just Ulta brand eyebrow setting gel. And then I don't have to prime my eyelids, so that's really, really nice. But then I move on to my eyeshadow. And I couldn't just pick one eyeshadow palette, so I had to pick two. So my first palette that I want to show you guys is my Too Faced Love palette. That's what it looks like. It's so adorable. So, so adorable. I really, really like it because it comes with multiple options and they're all in their own little squares so you already know what looks good together and what you can use together and how it will look before you even put it on your eyes. The shadows are so blendable and buttery and oh, love them to die for. Too Faced really hit the mark again with this one. It also comes with these cards that has multiple looks for day and night with all the different shades so it really really helps you out trying to decide what will look best for you and the occasion and it also comes with this really nice eyeliner that also has a smudger tip to create the perfect smoky eye so that's definitely a plus 
my second favorite palette is new and it is the self-made palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills some of my favorite shades from this are right here the spirit rock I love to use that on my outer V it's got just enough shimmer to really make them pop but not too much that it's like bam in your face really really intense my other favorite shade is the metallic plum right up here it's like a burgundy type of shade you do need to pack on the color to get the intense burgundy, but it is so buttery that it's very, very blendable and it's very, very easy to work with. So definitely, definitely recommend that one. I then line my eyes with the Benefit They're Real push-up liner. I always use that for my top so I can create my nice wings there. And on my bottom waterline, I use the Too Faced Perfect Waterproof Liner. It's really nice to use on your waterline since it's waterproof. It doesn't really come off, so very, very nice because I found that some liners, when you use them on your waterline, they smudge, so this one doesn't, so that's definitely a plus. And the mascaras that I like, I love the Better Than Sex. That's my favorite mascara. It adds so, so much volume. However, I found that it does flake, so I always use one underneath. So I have really liked the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. To use underneath and then I follow up with my Too Faced Better Than Sex and that really gives me just enough volume that I'm quite happy with it. So then I move on and I highlight. I love highlighter. It's probably my favorite part of my makeup routine and my favorite highlighter is the ColourPop highlighter in Spoon. It's called a Super Shock highlighter and it is like a creamy type of highlighter it looks flawless on your face absolutely flawless it gives you a really really nice shimmer so yeah you can see that right over there that shimmer very 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 nice and I always follow up with a powder because I don't feel that the creams really give me the intensity that I'm looking for so I always follow up with a powder and my favorite powder is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm Really adorable packaging, as the balm is famous for. So there's that one. This is extremely intense, so just be warned that when you pair it together, it's really, really intense. I then bronze. I like to use plain bronzer to do my contour and to put right here on my nose to give it a little slimmer look because... I have a larger nose, so I like to slim it down. This is my Too Faced Little Black Bronzer Wardrobe. And it's really, really nice because it has every single bronzer that Too Faced offers, so you can really get a taste for what you like, and you can wear different bronzers for different events, and definitely useful. My favorite bronzer is right here, the Pink Leopard, because it gives you a nice bronze that's not too in your face and it also gives you a little bit of blush in there. I also really like this one over here which is the Snow Bunny. I really like it because you can use the individual shades but you can also mix them together for a nice bronze that also has like a light shimmer in it. So that's really 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 nice and a product that I found that's extremely comparable to the Snow Bunny is the Ofra blush strips illuminating that's what it's called and very very similar to the Too Faced I really like it there you go you can see a little bit of that so that is what I follow up for and here is a full size of the pink leopard so that way you can get more of a a bigger look at what it's like and then I always follow up with a blush right here on my cheekbones my favorite blush is the Laura Geller Rose Starlight. There you go. It's like um, a dusty rose mixed with a coral. So it really complements every, everybody's skin tone. And it also has this really, really nice highlight in the middle. So there's that. And so it really like complements your highlight on your cheekbones. And gives you a really, really flawless finish. I also like the Majorette blush by Benefit, and it is a cream to powder blush, so it does require that you put it on before any of your other powders, 
so I don't use it as often when I wear my full face of makeup because I like to put it on put my blush on last but if I'm wearing just foundation and a little bit of concealer I will blush with this because it gives you a nice natural look and I always follow up with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Airbrush Foundation in shade Light Neutral because I always set my foundation so that way I don't get too oily through the day. And I follow up with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I always spray in an X and then in a T so that way we can make sure that we cover the entire combination area. And my very last step, I always do my lips last. It's kind of the final touch, and it's it's just really nice to be able to see the final touch. My absolute favorite lipstick is the Too Faced Melted in Melted Fig. It is a beautiful, beautiful plum color. There you go. There's a swatch of that. And it is not too intense. It does look really intense from the applicator. But once you put it on your skin, it does not look as intense as you think it will. And it actually looks really, really nice for day to day. I also like the Too Faced Melted Metal in Metallic Bunny. It's a really light pink. And I wasn't sure how I would feel about that. But I like it. It's actually quite subtle. But it looks really, really nice on your lips. The difference between the Melted and, and the Melted Metallic are the Melted are obviously much, much stronger in color. And the Metallics are more of a sheen while the, while the regular Melteds tend to dry more of a matte finish. Alright, and that is my entire makeup routine. You guys have seen it all. If you have any comments or products that you would like to see me try or review, just let me know right down there in the comments. Um, feel free to shoot me an email, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I really look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you guys for subscribing.